A school district across the state now prepared to change their school mascots and imagery. A local politician wants to do the same for the symbol of his city. This is Native American Heritage Month winds down. News 10 ABC's Karina Dominguez has those details. Eliminating stereotypical images of Native Americans has gone from school mascots to city flags. Today I spoke to a Native artist about the importance of celebrating Indigenous communities as contemporary people and an Albany councilman who is leading an effort to eliminate one prominently placed stereotypical image. Removing that image from the Albany flag is something Councilman Owusu Anane feels strongly about. We want a, a flag that everyone in our community can be proud of. He introduced legislation that would create a contest for the public to choose a new flag for the city. He says Albany needs a modern flag that reflects Albany's diverse communities. So all across our city and county and across this country, uh, many elected officials and community leaders are calling for, um, you know, uh, ways that we can celebrate diversity. That diversity is being celebrated this month all across the country with Native American Heritage Month. But what many don't know is it started here. New York Governor Charles Seymour Whitman was the first to declare an American Indian Day in 1916. Aquasasne Mohawk artist Margaret Jacobs says people don't know a lot, if anything, about indigenous cultures. You know, you get a lot of like the weird questions that you have to field. She says eliminating inaccurate depictions is necessary to combat misinformation. There's this like extinction myth. Um, about Eastern tribes that exists. She's one of the featured artists in New York State Museum's Contemporary Native American Art Exhibit. I think it's important for the general public to realize that we're still here, we're contemporary peoples, you know, we, we do contemporary things, we're making contemporary artwork. As for the Albany flag, Anane says the legislation still needs to be scheduled to go in front of committee, but hopes that if the council passes it, a commission of five residents can be assembled to operate the contest. Reporting in Albany, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.